You're listening to another podcast of Queen F Speaks on Arise Woman Network. Thank you for joining me today. I thought I'd come before you today because there's so much going on in the news. Wow. You know what? Get your cup of coffee, your cup of tea, your drink, whatever you're drinking. And let's sit back and let's just examine what is going on. What is trending today in the news? And when I say trendy, I mean what is the most talked about news in the media? Not only mainstream media, but black media. And you're listening to Black Media on a Rise Woman Network. So let's talk about it. Wow. Earlier today when I looked at the news, um, well, I would say it was a actually a Facebook post. Because of course we get our news from social media even before we get it from mainstream media. And I did see where... Um, it was saying that President Trump is going to um, uh, make the churches and houses of worship as essential and that he'll be opening up the churches. So, you know, everybody has different views on that. I can say personally, I would say go ahead, let's go, let's do it. Because, hey, we've got the bars, we've got the hair and nail salons open, we've got the... Um, Let's see, uh, people are are congregating and at beaches. We've got beaches open. Um, you know, we've got, like I say, the bars are open. The liquor stores are open. Uh, those are, to me, those are not essential. Maybe to some, they may be essential. But, um, yeah, my view is, let's go. You know, as long as the churches and the houses is a worship, the member, members and the leaders are practicing social distancing. I say go for it because people need to have a place of respite. People forget that churches and houses of worship and things of that nature, people go to those places to get relief from the everyday um, woes of life, from bills to abusive partners to domestic violence to... Um, outrageous children to you know whatever you're going through in life a lot of us that's where we go to seek our our refuge and sure we can call we can do video chat uh people are doing church services online but of course face-to-face -face contact uh is just not the same you know so my view is I think it's a good decision because it says a lot about our values, you know. Are we going to value going to the liquor store or going to the beach over going to a church to receive, you know, your communion and your worship and the time that you're spending with other um, congregation who, um, friends and family who you may not see, um, you know, you're getting that. Uh, direct contact with people people need to be hugged people need to be held people need to know that they're not alone and there are a lot of people senior citizens uh, who are alone um, they have the nursing centers where they don't allow the the children or the relatives to visit the the patients the the uh, nursing center um, uh, clients I'm sorry guests not guess. I must be tired. 
<laughs> you know what I mean. The people who are in the nursing home, the older people, you know, they're, how are they feeling? You know, imagine how they're feeling. Not having that contact with a loved one. At least to visit them once a week. You know, that means so much. So, yeah, the houses of worship, I think that they should open up. Okay, well, you know, give me your opinion. Nay or yay. Hit me in the comments section. Let me know what do you feel about President Trump opening up the country to um, the central uh, churches being essential and houses of worship being labeled as essential and people congregating in churches. Yeah, you know, as long as they're practicing social distancing, like I say, I don't see a problem with it. Okay, and then I turn on the YouTube video on my TV and I look at a video in which one of our black media queens, uh, Vicki Dillard, from um, Your Black World and the uh, Vicki Dillard TV show, she was talking about um, Joe Biden. He did an interview. Uh, Vice President, former Vice President Joe Biden, did a interview with Charlemagne the God from The Breakfast Club. Um, so, yeah, on that interview, it went kind of left. You know, pretty much was disturbing what I heard. Um, Joe Biden seemed to be about ready to end the interview. And Charlamagne the God was like, well, you know, we need to know more about uh, such and such. And Joe Biden said, well, you know what? Um, if you don't, if you have, a, have the question whether you're going to vote for me or Trump, then you're not black. He was talking to... Charlemagne the God's audience, us, as black people. So Joe Biden questioned whether we are black if we don't vote for him. I mean, really? Like the young people say, are we doing this? Are we doing DIS? Are we doing this? Is that what we're doing? We're questioning people's uh, black people's blackness now? Are you kidding me? People are just getting and trying to accept Joe Biden even though he was so, such a gung-ho person, a politician, back when they were uh, organizing a crime bill and, um, you know, saying that he, they disproportionately uh, labeled black people uh, during the time of the opiate, not the opiate, because the opiate was not around. It was a crack that was around violence, things like that, and uh, that they, you know, he was part of the whole a group of people who put the uh, black men in behind bars uh, disproportionately and so people are just reeling back from that and trying to decide if they're going to vote for Biden for the 2020 election and Biden does this he pretty much put his foot in his mouth you know now I question where my vote is going to go I mean who is the lesser of two evils you know this may be the first time since I voted since I was a teenager that I may sit out on this election I'm not happy with what I see I'm disappointed um, you know there are no perfect people no perfect candidates um, maybe people are doing the best of their ability but I'm just not liking what I see I'm not liking what I see you know, with the uh, what's going on with the C virus, uh, a lot of people are starting to feel the blunt of not getting that second stimulus. I don't know the reason, but there was a young uh, man who was on the Brooklyn Bridge for hours attempting to jump. And uh, I just read this online also. So people are pretty much losing it and um, people are looking for that second stimulus. And the Senate has decided they're going to just take a break and for Memorial Day, even though, you know, people are needing money. So, yeah, I heard that the Senate is saying that they're thinking of uh, putting a bill toward for the states, you know, to put some money in the state's pockets. But what about the people, the, the people who are workers, the people who are on unemployment? The people who are the 1% who have went through that first stimulus money paying bills and buying food or other items to keep them occupied while they're at home. Uh, I thought the stimulus is, is to stimulate the economy. Uh, we need the money to stimulate the economy. So hopefully when the Senate comes back off vacation for Memorial Day, that they'll come and they'll also include the... Um, 
the America, the people who make up America, who can stimulate the economy. Not the rich who take their money and mostly put it in banks or stocks and bonds and invest, but the, the everyday people like myself who will take the stimulus money and put it into the economy and stimulate the economy by buying things, paying bills, going to the grocery store, buying other items, you know. Um, yeah. The what is his name from Amazon, the CEO? Well, they say he's possibly a trillionaire now because a lot of people took to Amazon when they got their stimulus because they were stuck in the house and didn't have anywhere to go and couldn't go anywhere. A lot of people took their money and they spent it on Amazon. So he is going into the trillionaire status. So yeah. So yeah, that's just uh, kind of my thoughts on t on the news of what's going on. I'm hoping that everybody just hangs in there. Uh, hats off to all the essential workers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are on the front lines. The grocery store clerks, the nurses, the doctors, the CNA workers, the janitors who are cleaning the hospitals and nursing homes and things of that nature. You are the front frontline workers so thank you for your service thank you for listening to another episode of queen f speaks on arise women network give me your comments like and subscribe to my channel thank you and you be blessed Consumables and the natives are restless. Yo, shut the fuck up.